So um, now we've talked about, uh, I mean, we've got speakers who were uh, developers, who are entrepreneurs, who are very experienced in nature. Now um, uh, I'll call up on stage Mr. Rajesh Patel. Uh, he's a venture uh, partner with Succeed uh, Ventures. Hi. Good evening, everyone. I'm just recovering from a bad cold, so you have to forgive me. Um, Great, this was very, very useful, guys, and it's some fantastic work. I'm just amazed at the kind of talent and just uh, happy to be here. Um, yes, I think a uh, couple of aspects. I have to admit, I've fallen in love with this whole concept of voice, uh, you know, activated activity. Uh, do you have any uh, Star Trek fans here? Star Trek? No? Okay, yeah, there you go, okay. So the, when I was a kid, I used to watch Star Trek, all the original ones, Captain Kirk and all. I think one of the things that made an impact was computer do this, computer do that, right? You remember that. And it was just fascinating because as a kid, you were used to typing in a keyboard and it was just stuck there. And by God, I've been waiting for that day to come where you could actually speak to a device and something intelligent would come out with all, uh, you know, due respect to Alexa and Siri, they can do the menial task, but really, some of the complex ones, when you're, uh, and there are a bunch of cases where, I'm a big fan of Star Trek, I think even the cell phones are credited to Star Trek, so. Um, but, see, that, that's where I think we are at a point of inflection. Uh, the, we talk about a lot of technologies, blockchain and RPA and this and that, a lot of revolution, disruption happening, but ironically, this is the silent disruption that's gonna happen. Every single interface that we will have in the next God knows two, three, four, five years will be through voice, period. Right? I think it's bound to happen. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Um, so as a consumer, I would love that. Uh, putting myself uh, as, as a person who can use this, uh, and somebody was saying this, uh, I have Amazon Echo, me and my kids, we kind of play around with it, play bhajan, play music, do this, do that. It was, I think, we've grown over it now. Um, so the, the ecosystem is evolving. Uh, one other thing we have noticed is, of course, we have four assistants now, right? You have the Siri, you have the Google, you have Alexa, and what am I missing now? Uh, one more. Sorry? Cortana, right, yeah, Cortana. And Samsung also is you know, throwing in the hat in this whole mix. This will be like the browser wars at some point. Everybody wants to create their own ecosystem, uh, want to control as much as they can. Um, that's a little unfortunate, to be honest with you, and probably that's getting in the way of, of taking this to the next level. Uh, I know you've talked about uh, trying out a few things and then finally settling with uh, Amazon Alexa. Um, so, uh, I mean, see, that's my uh, paying, trying to pay attention to this and waiting for that uh, utopian moment where I can have a really good conversation with a, a digital assistant. I, I want this to be at a point where I can say, book this, do that, do this, and things should happen. Now, coming from the perspective of uh, investment, I think we, this is one of the hottest areas that we're looking at. Um, I think this was a good invite for me to get into it. I wasn't, honestly, I was not aware that so much was happening in this space. I think I was still waiting for this. I have a bunch of case studies where uh, doctor-patient interactions, some of these we were thinking through. We've been talking to a few companies about that, but things haven't got anywhere. Again, primarily back to the same thing, right? What do you build it on? What do people prefer? If you look at the penetration of iPhone, Siri makes sense, right? But if you're looking at the home devices, then Alexa makes sense. And probably it's not really pragmatic to end up building the same version for four different or five different platforms. I, I don't think that's, that's, that's practically not there. And that's one of the reasons I think the adoption has not really got to a point where it should be. And I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if somebody will come up, uh, an Indian company from Hyderabad, I would love that. Uh, to come up with something that could solve this, an open source solution that can be as good as an Alexa or Cortana or one of these products. So, uh, but coming to the point, I think we are definitely looking for areas where we can invest. Uh, personally, if I had to put my 100 rupees, I would take the big chunk of it and put it in this area, and that's a commitment I'm making. Uh, so we are looking for uh, any use cases, any, any companies, any organizations you'd like to venture into this, have a conversation with us, please. Let us know. At least the least we can do is sit down and have a conversation with you about it and see what happens, right? Um, so that's, that's it. I mean, I, I don't have much to say. We have really a bunch of intelligent folks here in the panel. They've pretty much covered everything, touched upon every single topic. Uh, but there is an opportunity, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. And I want to get to my, my dream conversation sooner than later, hopefully in the next three, four years. So thanks again.